Welcome this week. And as mentioned in last week, as givers and compassionate human beings, either as leaders, educators, healers, entrepreneurs, parents, compassionate beings, caregivers, it is not uncommon that we encounter many blocks to self-care and renewal. From the intense and fast-paced schedule to other people's needs and demands, we can find ourselves and our needs at the bottom of our daily to-do list, and we can even forget to take time for ourselves. And this might not be a problem for a few days or a few weeks, but as we start doing that habitually, we will start accumulating stress. And before we know it, we run the risk of burnout. And I know this from my experience. I burn out twice and from the experience of many. And burnout doesn't come with bells and whistles. So it's important to keep reminding ourselves of this risk and be on the lookout so we can prevent it. As they say in medicine, prevention is better than treating. And this does not have to be this way, right? There's a way to renew and regenerate with ease on a regular basis and that we don't overload our nervous system. And most importantly, we avoid problems in the future. And as mentioned last week and many other places, you may have heard me, the key to real change starts with upgrading our mindsets, which are those uh, subconscious stories that we tell ourselves of why we cannot pause and regenerate. And those stories, the mindsets, that are subconscious, many times we are not aware of, or we might just hear them like, you know, some sayings that we say to ourselves. Nonetheless, they run our lives, they run our behaviors, and many times influence the way we feel. And since we're so busy, many times we don't even have time to pause and reflect. Is this story really true? Is there an alternative? And that's this invitation in this space, this oasis that you can pause and really reflect. And in today's episode, I continue to share about an important block we create in our own mind, time, which once brought to consciousness can be updated. And by changing the way we think of time, we can be more creative around scheduling time for our own regeneration so that we can keep on giving to others without the risk of burning out. And if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Yuana Popa from Team for the Soul. And I bring this unique blend of science, psychology, spiritual care, and ancient Christian faith. And I invite you to join this Renewal Nugget and in general, our weekly updates. This oasis in the midst of action where My goal is to help you regenerate and renew on the go so you can keep on giving and making this world a better place. In times of stress, you might hear yourself saying, I know I have to do self-care and regenerate, but I'm too busy and I don't have time. And I will wait until I have a big chunk of time. Of course, you don't have time. You are generous and want to help others. And there are many needs in the world. But the needs of others are endless. And without taking time to regenerate, we burn out. And as mentioned this time and many times, I did it twice. And in today's fast paced world, as we're bombarded with information, news, worries, curiosities, demands, new technology, et cetera, et cetera, we are left with very little time to reflect about those inner workings and our mindsets and whatnot. So type in the chat if you resonate with this and you feel that you lack time often and what are some of the reasons that you experience are the root of this. The good news, preventing burnout is better than addressing it later, like they say in medicine. And there are ways to regenerate while you go about your day to avoid burnout. So here's the invitation. Think instead What if you can have pockets of regeneration and take several short breaks during the day, such as three to five minutes in the morning, midday, afternoon, and then later in the evening? This might not be enough, but it's better than zero. We have to start somewhere and waiting until the conditions are perfect is really not the solution since the perfect conditions never really happen. 
by taking small packets of regeneration from a scientific perspective, what happens, we switch from the fight or flight system, which many times we're in all day long, and we switch into a relaxed state of consciousness. If you like to think from spiritual perspectives, then we reconnect really, we take a break and we reconnect with our true self, our sense of the divine God cosmic consciousness, soul, spirit, however you experience it. And I believe this is the ultimate source of regeneration and renewal. So it is important. And the best metaphor I heard is that of a computer. We don't think about our computers twice, you know, when they they warm up. If we use our computers for hours and hours and hours, they get really warm and we have to stop. We have to help them cool down a few times a day. It's the same with us. In order to work properly, our nervous system needs to calm down. Otherwise, it's this bombardment all the time. So here is a tip. Take this three to five minute break a few times a day. But the key here, this three to five minute break needs to feel as if it is timeless. This is when you can pause your thinking, your worries, and you can just nourish yourself. My recommendation for this is actually to use a timer to get the sense of timelessness so that your brain can relax. And you can remind yourself during this three to five minutes, there's nothing to do, nothing to fix. There are no demands on you. And if you habitually meditate or contemplate, you can do this several times a day for short periods of time. And if you don't, I can give you an example right today what to do. So, and you can actually practice it right now if you want to. So I will tell you first the steps. And then once I'm done with the steps, you can pause this video and you can try it. Put your timer and just try. And then we'll wrap up really quickly. So here are the steps. Have a comfortable position. Shift your position from what you were doing earlier. Stretch a bit if needed. And take a few deep breaths and really invite yourself to stay grounded in the present moment by being aware of your breath and your body. And as our mind goes fast all the time, chances are you're going to experience lots of thoughts even as you do that. And the thoughts might be about your past, about my voice and what I'm saying. What is she saying? Or whatever. Or about future plans. So then remind yourself that this is your break. This is your timeless time. And then that you will go back to your life shortly after, within a few minutes. And once you're comfortable, breathe in and out and remind yourself that you're more than your roles, your story, your past or future. But the past is gone and future actually is never here, right? As a, from our inner microcosm, we only experience time as a continuous now. So in this break, just breathe slowly and just be aware of your body and your existence in this moment with no judgment nor story. And then at the end, when the timer is done, just come back to your day-to-day -day consciousness and start moving your body slowly and bring your responsibilities of your day back into your mind. And as mentioned before, if you want, you can try this right now. You can pause the video and come back when I'm done. So number one, set a timer, get comfortable and breathe. Number two, stay aware in the present moment. And when your mind gets distracted, past, present, just bring it back in the present moment with no judgment. Remind it there's nothing to do for now. And when done, number three, bring your mind back to your day-to-day -day consciousness. So take your time if you want to. Pause me and do this exercise and then come back. All right. So... If you've done the exercise, this is great. You can write in the chat, what was your experience? And in summary, regenerating and doing self-care does not have to take big chunks of time. If you are busy, 
if you do have the time, please go ahead and do self-care more extended times. But if you're really busy helping others and trying to make the world a better place, the simplest way to start is to take those four short breaks in the day for three to four, five minutes, morning, midday, afternoon, and evening, so that you can reconnect with your true self, your soul, your divine. You can come back to yourself and shift from the fight or flight system to your relaxed and nourishing state of being. So with that, I leave you and I thank you for being in, have your attention and focus in this shared space and time. And I wish you a wonderful day. And until next time, I say goodbye for now.